Hey Gems, how you doing? This is the Dumb in the Rough and how's Christmas doing? I am very, very, very privileged to be able to get the opportunity to share some of your Christmas day with you. Um, I am working on Christmas cookies. All you need is love and Christmas cookies. And uh, I'm going to work on this one while we chat away. And I'm actually got the, I've got 30 Christmas tag questions and also Pippa has um, given us a good challenge which is the chubby bunny challenge. Um, when I do the chubby bunny challenge this will not be in front of me because if I laugh it's going to get messy. So somewhere in the middle here will be a chubby bunny challenge. Okay, let's see how I go with that one. Anyway, I'm going to be working on Christmas cookies. Uh, this is just a simple little 30 by 40. Um, and my plan is actually to work on one colour at a time. My first colour is actually the E, which is a 310. And, um, yep, I'm just pouring the whole bag out. I did kit this up, but the aim is one bag at a time. <laughs> And I'm going to do something that many people see me do. I have my multi-placer out. A lot of stuff I do generally has a lot of confetti, so I don't use a multi-placer very often. So, I'm going to get on with the show and go through these tag questions. I will pop the questions down below um, if you are interested in, in these the, the questions themselves and I will also include the link just in case it's something that you might find you want to do okay so question number one <laughs> as a kid did a sibling ever receive a present that you wished for wish was for you all the time my brothers were bigger than me I was the youngest and they got all the good presents um, yeah so yes they did um, I can't remember all of them but I do remember one was actually <laughs> wasn't it Commodore 64 it was one of those you know a computer game that you plugged into the TV to um, to play so that's uh, that's how long ago I mean I'm nearly 50 so you know my age is going to show in some of the things here. Question two, be honest. Do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts? That's a really hard question. Um, I love giving because uh, when I give a gift, I put a lot of thought into in most cases I will say in most cases I put a lot of thought into the gift that I am giving and to actually see somebody receive a gift that's been thought out and I've planned on it and all of that and to see their reaction um, especially when it's it's actually received really well is there's nothing like it there is nothing I have to say there is nothing like it but I do like receiving them. Oh boy, do I like receiving them. I like the anticipation um, of, oh, I wonder what's in here. So it's the surprise of side of things. Um, here we go. So yeah, I do. Um, I do. I like both. I still think giving is better because just that a satisfaction of knowing that you've that you've given somebody what they wanted you've worked out what what they what they want um, so yeah okay so there's one there that's question two <laughs> although it's not Christmas the question I'm just gonna move this to a better spot okay so question number three 
do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick do you stick to them? That's two questions, okay? So do you make New Year's resolutions and stick to them? Um, I <laughs> I New Year's resolutions, no. Um, I think at one point there I turned around and went, my New Year's resolution was never to make another New Year's resolution again. That one I stuck to. Um, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You see people make New Year's resolutions and then by the 2nd of January it's like, nah. Because <laughs> that New Year's resolution was made probably while in an ovary, over, overly joyous state. And then the realisation of life hit. Okay. Hang on, we'll go there. I need a three. Next question. Do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? You betcha. Well, hang on. I used to. Once Nathan came on the scene, no. <laughs> no. We grew up... Um, my mum and stepfather got married on Christmas Eve. So from the year that they got married, we celebrated Christmas on Christmas Eve. Because what that meant for them, so by celebrating, well not celebrating Christmas, but we opened our Christmas present. By opening our Christmas presents on Christmas Eve, it meant that we weren't harassing them first thing in the morning for our Christmas present. So, yep, opening presents Christmas Eve. Yes, we used to do. Nathan doesn't didn't get it, and um, I can understand. But I mean, we had it for we had it for um, well, my my mum and my stepfather's personal choice. <laughs> yep. As a young kid, all I thought it was was, oh, you know, they just want to sleep in. <laughs> it's only as an adult I realised why they did what they did. <laughs> Shh. My mum never did that. Anyway, uh, let's get that one in. Next question. Do you visit a poor people's... Do you visit a poor people's places on Christmas Day? No. No, we don't do that. Um, no, I don't. Don't do that. Maybe it's something we should do. Um, this year, not being rude or insensitive, but I don't think anybody should do that in some places of the world because you don't want to share some of the things that are going around in the world at the moment. So, But no, I haven't. Um, I have done a little bit of help with homeless people, but not for Christmas. Or, or for any reason around the Christmas season. Okay, now we just about got that top section there done. See, I do use a multi-placer for those that ever have wondered. Um, have you ever made a snowman? To make a snowman, you need to have snow. <laughs> I think that's one of the main things that you need to make a snowman. I've not seen snow. So no, I have never made a snowman. Nope, 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 never made one. Okay. How many gifts? How many gifts that you received on Christmas? I'm trying to get you. How many gifts that you received on Christmas? I don't understand that question. How many gifts that you received on Christmas? I I can't say that one. I have no idea what that question actually means. In the premiere, guys, do you understand what that is? How many gifts that you received on Christmas? Um, 
if this I will be at, probably be able to answer that question that I received this Christmas on the at the, on the premiere because I'll I'll probably have known by then. Um, okay, so next next one. How how you decorate your house on a Christmas day? Okay, um, our house um, this year we have just. A simple little um, couple of solar lights out the front that blink one is ice snowflakes and the other one is colored Christmas tree the snowflakes are clear white but the Christmas trees are there's a couple of different colors out there on those um, and then a Christmas tree in the house a white Christmas tree with the, the uh, Christmas balls are blue, so he has blue balls. Our Christmas tree has blue balls. Um, and a Christmas wreath is going on our door. It's not there at the moment as a point of recording this, but I will be putting a Christmas wreath on our front door. It will be the first time ever that I have put something on my front door for Christmas mm. okay is your Christmas tree real or fake my Christmas tree is fake it's white it is very 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 fake um, yep Okay, so next question. How am I going to pick up a three? Most memorable holiday moment. Um. <laughs> the one that that springs to me is actually from last Christmas. Um, my son came up to visit from Esperance and with his, his wife um, they came up to visit from Esperance Dion's, Dion's girlfriend at the time and, and Dion came around for Christmas breakfast and lunch what well, kind of lunch um, however Dion's girlfriend left early for some reason we do believe it was pre-planned but that's, that's that's a totally different manner um she left and it ended up with having watching my sons and uh, my daughter-in-law watching them play christmas games on well not christmas games but playing the is it the we 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 is it the Swift Stitch or something? One of those Wii games. And just, I sat at the table and just watched them as they were thoroughly enjoying themselves in a way that I hadn't seen my two boys together for a, such a long time. And that is something that is so, so memorable and I will remember that always. Um... I've had other good Christmases where things happen that I remember, but that's going to be, that's the big one to me, the, seeing my boys as adults playing computer games <laughs> on the couch at my place, you know. Yeah, being kids. My adult boys being kids. Okay, tell me about a person who makes your Christmas day very special. That one I actually can't answer. That's an emotional one. And I'm I'm tearing because I need to get away from that. I can't answer that one. Okay, next question. Um, tell me which celebrations you like the most that are birthday celebration or Christmas celebration. <laughs> I 
I have to go with birthday celebration. Um, I would much prefer a birthday celebration than a Christmas celebration because a birthday celebration is, how do I put it? It's about one person and I'm not referring to my birthday celebration. I'm referring to birthday celebration. If it was somebody else's birthday celebration, love it, love it more than a Christmas. I don't know what it is, but yeah. Um, I have my own reason. I'm not a big Christmas person. I don't celebrate Christmas that well. Um, okay. Um, use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. Um, how about um? I, I Christmas is not a big exciting thing for me. Um, family being together is a different matter, but Christmas is not a big, not a big excitement for me. I don't know what it is. Well, actually, I know what it is, but um, I don't get excited like people do for Christmas. Um, I've got friends that are just, you know, if they could put the Christmas tree up in September, she would. <laughs> She's the person where I was able to get my nails and give her the bird and say, do you like that? <laughs> and she said, yes, because it was, because um, <laughs> I've got Christmas lights on my nails. Um, so yeah, she did like it when I gave her the bird and somebody saw me give her the bird and went, that's not nice. And it's like, she looked at them and said, yes, it is. <laughs> her interpretation of Christmas, anything Christmassy, she loves. Absolutely loves. Top chick, top chick. Um, yeah. Okay, next question. A person who makes your Christmas day very special. It's not one person, it's two. Actually, it's three now. I've got two boys that make my Christmas very special. Um, and I suppose I should say it, and I, not that I should say it, you know. My partner does make my Christmas special. I, I have many years where I didn't celebrate Christmas or I spent most of my Christmas alone with just a phone call to my boys for Christmas, so. Um, yeah, okay. Um, what are you most, what are your most surprising moment? What's my most surprising moment on Christmas? Um, I'm gonna interpret that as what's the most surprising Christmas, something's happened at Christmas. A uh, Couple of years ago, um, Nathan, it's a pre-Christmas surprise, Nathan, found out that he was not working for Christmas. So he works in retail and generally he works Christmas Eve and Boxing Day and he gets Christmas Day off only. One year he got five days off over the Christmas period. So um, we went to his family. Only his sister knew that we were coming and we turned up and surprised the family. And the best surprise was the look on his mum's face. And she's going, what are you doing here? <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous to see. Um, I think that was his first Christmas he'd been home for, for 10, 10 to 15 years, something like that. Nathan and I have been together 10 years. And, you know, we've only been there once, been for there for Christmas once. Um, so that's the biggest moment, moment, a surprise moment that I've had with Christmas. Um, okay. What do you like to do on Christmas break? I don't get Christmas break. I'm a shift worker. <laughs> so, yeah, no, no Christmas break. Um, I'm just lucky if I'm not rusted on. Um, however, I do think this year I might end up working Christmas night. We'll see short staffed and all of that okay next question 
what holidays, what holiday traditions are you looking forward to most this year? Mm, that's a hard one. Christmas traditions. Um, well, I don't have any traditions. I suppose the only tradition that we have is um, my we do breakfast. That might seem strange, but we do breakfast. I'm not much of a cook, so it's a, just a very nice breakfast that we do. Uh, usually, our, tr our tradition has been you know bacon and egg wraps with melted cheese and, and barbecue sauce and yeah all of that good stuff like that so Christmas for us our tradition um, with Nate since Nathan came along was a breakfast Christmas breakfast and then um, we used to go to a friend's place for Christmas lunch um, yeah and all of that side of things but yep okay otherwise there's no real traditions that we have Traditions, as in, you know, you know, no. We have a very disjoint. I'm in a very disjointed family. <laughs> um, what's the best Christmas gift you've ever received? Gosh. Um, best Christmas gift. I actually don't, I don't remember, I don't know. Um, no, I have no idea. I, Christmas gifts that are memorable, I can remember as a kid getting a giant teddy bear that was bigger than me from my dad. So that's a memorable one, but I can't remember my best one. Um, you know, every year is always grateful for whatever I'm given anyway so um, okay what is the worst present you've ever received <laughs> okay if I said whippersnipper the worst present I have ever received is a whippersnipper. <laughs> okay. When I was, actually it was before we were married, but he brought me a whippersnipper. Um, you know, my ex-husband, back when we were, we were basically living in sin, he brought me a whippersnipper. Um, and it wasn't that he brought it for me so that he could use it. He didn't use it. He brought me a whippersnipper because I'm the one that used it. So, um, yeah. It's not what you get as a present. It's not a good present to receive. Not a woman. Mind, I do believe that I've got this sinking feeling. Well, I shouldn't say a sinking feeling, but I have this feeling that I'm getting a vacuum cleaner for Christmas from Nathan. <laughs> mm. I've just got this sneaky suspicion. But the vacuum cleaner, I don't think the vacuum cleaner will be all that I get though. So, um, yeah. Okay. Let's bring this down a little bit more again. There we go. Okay. I suppose you guys get a bit of an insight to all of us different creators and, and you know and when we talk about Christmases. But yeah. Um hmm, okay. Um, 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 um what's your all time favourite holiday food sweet treat? Um There is too many to come up with. 
that's not fair that's a hard question um, I can't think of any um, I mean, because I don't do much in the way of Christmas cooking myself. I can bake, but I don't do much in the way of Christmas cooking. So, um, trying to think what I would... My favourite? I suppose I do like Christmas pudding, but that's not... I wouldn't put that as my favourite. Um, yeah. Can you pinpoint... Come on, guys. Can you pinpoint what's your favourite Christmas treat? It's actually saying holiday treat, but yeah, what's your favourite Christmas treat? Um, what's your favourite Christmas film? Okay, so there's a few Christmas movies out there, and I will stick with Love Actually. That is my favourite. Sometimes, some people go, it's not a real Christmas movie, but it is a Christmas movie, and I will watch Love Actually anytime. So yeah, yeah, love actually. Okay, let's get some of these here done. Fill these in. Okay, so 26 minutes in. I am going to stop here. Marshmallow challenge. Okay, these are the normal standard marshmallows. I think I might want to get here. However, because I am late getting this to Pippa, um, I have actually turned around and gone, I will do the marshmallow challenge with four different types of marshmallow. One is the original. Two is the rainbow, the small marshmallows. Three is the marshmallow twists. <laughs> and for the jumbos I'll be lucky to get one I reckon but we'll see so I may pause this in between each uh, just because I might need to spit some out if I'd had too much sugar I'm going to be buzzing this afternoon so it's 11 o'clock it's not too early for marshmallows is it chubby bunnies here we come I'm going to actually, in video editing, I'll actually put the number here on the side so that you can see how many. Am I ready for this? I don't think I'm ready for this. One. Chubby bunnies. <laughs> Two. Chubby bunnies. Excuse the yeah. I think you're <laughs> Here we go. It's a talent. Three chubby bunnies. It is a real talent. Four chubby bunnies. Oh, I'm starting to salivate. This is not good. <laughs> Five chubby bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at it, I'm at it, I'm at it. I don't know. Can you get that one? Six chubby bunnies. <clears throat> I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, 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 mm -mm. Is that seven? Do I lose count? Seven chubby bunnies. No, it's not seven. Hang on. I've just stopped it briefly so that I can go back and look at my recording. I did get seven. Eight chubby bunnies. Mm -hmm. 
Bunny, here we go. Mm -mm. Eight chubby bunnies. Pausing <laughs> here. Okay, so that's one down. <coughs> what was that? Eight. We'll keep the count going anyway. Okay, eight of those. I'm going to go for these ones. The twists. So you can have a look at them. They're not little. They are not little. They're bigger than a normal marshmallow. So, let's get into position. Whoops. <laughs> marshmallow dust. Okay, let's go. I do have a coffee this time. I had to actually have a couple of mouthfuls of coffee for the last one. <sighs> How am I going to be when I get to the now that next block? Anyway, one. <laughs> this is not going to get far. One chubby bunny. Look, mum, I've got the mumps. Two chubby bunnies. <laughs> oh, this is uncomfortable already. This is so hard. <laughs> I hope you can't hear that. Three chubby bunnies. Four chubby bunnies. I don't think I can do it. Hang on. <laughs> no, it's not done here. Five chubby bunnies. <laughs> uh oh. No, it's six. Six chubby bunnies. No. Five. That's <sighs> They take. It's good that the. the but it's good that the marshmallows have different flavours. Mm. Small or big? Okay, we are on the lilies. Oh, I've had a mouthful of coffee. All I did was bolt and <coughs> Those marshmallows are in the sink. <laughs> I didn't think I'd throw it, so spit them out. To eat marshmallows, I'm gonna have to not chew them all because I'm gonna have too much of a sugar rush. As if I don't have a sugar rush already. I have actually poured these into a bowl because <laughs> spilling them out of the bag one at a time, we're gonna have fun. One chubby bunny, two chubby bunnies, three chubby bunnies, four chubby bunnies. Five chubby bunnies, six chubby bunnies, seven chubby bunnies, move over, eight chubby, eight chubby bunnies, nine chubby bunnies, ten chubby bunnies, eleven chubby bunnies, thirteen chubby bunnies, fourteen chubby bunnies, fifteen chubby bunnies, 16 chubby bunnies, 17 chubby bunnies, 18 chubby bunnies, there's lots of room, 19 chubby bunnies, 20 chubby bunnies, 21 chubby bunnies, these are good, 22 chubby bunnies, 23 chubby bunnies, <laughs> 24 chubby bunnies, 25 chubby bunnies, 26 chubby bunnies, that was my tongue, I wasn't chewing, 27 chubby bunnies, 
28 chubby bunnies, 29 chubby bunnies, 30 chubby bunnies, 40 chubby bunnies, 50, 41 chubby bunnies. Let's kick out properly. 51 chubby bunnies. Mmm, I know they swallowed one. No, you're not getting swallowed. 42 chubby bunnies. Did I lose count? 43 chubby bunnies. 44 chubby bunnies. 45 chubby bunnies. 26 chubby bunnies. 27 chubby bunnies. 28 chubby bunnies. 29. I might have lost count. 29 chubby bunnies. I have completely lost count. And I'm not doing this again, but I can fit a bucket load more in. So the numbers will be here, adding somewhere here. Alright, so I stick one in, chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. What's good now? Chubby bunny. Mm -mm -mm. Try again. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. <coughs> Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. It's good now. <laughs> Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. I'm actually hitting the sugar high. Chubby, okay. Chubby bunny. No, I can't go in. Can't go in. Can't you see somewhere? This one, I had coffee. Whoa. Oh, jumbos. Okay, I'm just going to show you a comparison. No, I won't. Yes, I will, because once I've done these jumbos, that is it. So, comparison in size. <sighs> Have I got... I've got a couple. Back in a sec. On toothpicks. I'm showing you the comparison of size. And because, you know, for anybody that's actually watched my channel, there's been a few times where I have impaled rabbits, little bunny rabbits. Where is he? <laughs> I've got a squishy bunny rabbit He's here somewhere. So we want to compare sizes. That's the, the mini, the rainbow mellow. That is the normal stock standard mellow. That was the twisty, the twist mellow. Here we go. And then we go, this one is the Jumbo. So this is next. Does anybody think that looks like a roll of toilet paper? If I put it, I put it close to you, does it look like I'm holding a roll of toilet paper? <sighs> okay, so. Jumbos, here we come. Oh, sorry, I was just looking to see if I can find my gummy bear. My gummy, gummy rabbit. Can't see. Does this <laughs> this makes me nervous? 
I reckon two. I reckon two is the limit. Oh, my stomach saying none. say I was going to do four, I suppose. See you, Pippa. <laughs> Hang on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Chubby bunny. One. Tea's going to be a little bit All my mouth is stretched. It's more about trying to get that one in. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Two chubby bunnies. The one. No room for any more two. So, how did I go? I have no idea how I went because I haven't done it yet. <laughs> so at this point of the video, you know more than what I know right now. Okay. So, there we go. Back, you've got the chubby bunnies. Oh, hopefully that puts me enjoyment and some laughter. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, and I hope that I managed to get more than four. Okay, so four was my goal. I think I, I used to get quite a few, but I'm out of way out of practice. Okay, so where was I up to? Worst, worst Christmas film. What's your favourite Christmas song? My favourite Christmas song is Silent Night. I love that song. I love singing that song. Um, that's a song that I used to sing my boys when they were little. Um, that was the song I used to sing them right throughout the year, not just for Christmas. Um, yeah, Silent Night. Love that song. That song is beautiful. And whenever I hear that song, it actually takes me back to when I used to sing to my boys for, for at bedtime. They reckoned I sung it well. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not giving you any bars of it anyway. <laughs> okay. Next question. What's your favourite thing about Christmas? Um, I actually don't know I am that's the thing I'm not a big Christmas person um, you know, it's so strange and I don't want to it's so I want to try and do an upbeat thing but some of these questions are just bringing me back to um, my Christmases that I spent alone um, and I mean my Christmases alone were not um, but not because I had to my Christmases alone were my choice um, which is one of the reasons why I don't do much in the way of Christmas and I never did much in the way of Christmas because Christmas most of the time was my boys were on holidays either with their gran or with their dad and you know I was still at home and I'd just get a make a phone call to wish them a Merry Christmas and that was all Christmas was quite a lot of years um, so yeah I don't have anything special about Christmas um, I suppose now What's special about Christmas is Nathan. 
and I don't know if that makes any sense but Nathan having Nathan is really special at Christmas because I'm fortunate that I'm not alone that sounds really really funny and weird but even me listening to me coming out of my mouth um, but yeah I suppose that's the one thing that is Christmas is Nathan is what makes it special for me He's, if he wasn't here if him and I weren't here together I probably would be doing absolutely nothing and I'd be doing shift swaps and working other people's Christmas so that they can spend time with their families <laughs> Uh, Christmas is not that good a memory for me. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, yes, I am making more new ones all the time. Um, but they were not always good memories. Um, yeah. I've worked too many Christmases. And I've slept through too many Christmases. Okay. what would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season okay for me a place that I would love to go for Christmas is okay get your head around this one Antarctica <laughs> I would love to go to Antarctica for Christmas um yeah tad different i know uh, the only time you can go to antarctica is basically at christmas time it's because it's the only time you get decent weather but i would find going to antarctica would be so gorgeous to do so good to do i would love it i would love it if somebody turned around and said and it won't happen anyway I know it won't happen <laughs> but if somebody turned around and said here you go you can go to Antarctica for Christmas um, and then I asked my boss to take some time off and he goes no I would actually turn around and say well guess what I'll take unpaid leave <laughs> um, yeah what I would do to go to Antarctica for, would be amazing so as a Christmas holiday that is something that I would absolutely love to do okay next question whoops where'd that go let's get that three down what you like the most you stay in home with your family or traveling with them oh what would you like the most stay at home with your family or traveling with them on Christmas um, I've never done it but I would love to be tra go traveling with my family for Christmas um, yes I would love it and what I mean by and I'm going to be selfish here. What I mean by family would be Nathan, my kids, and my grandson. That would be absolutely amazing. I would love to do that over anything else. Have I got a three here somewhere where I can utilize these drills? Nah. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. I would love I've never actually had a holiday over a Christmas so I would love to do a Christmas holiday okay next question question number 26 what's the best part about Christmas for you well saying my family when it comes down to when I look at the Christmases that I now have where I see my family that's 
the best part. Catching up with friends, seeing people that you haven't seen for a long time. You know, those things are what Christmas is about. Um, you know, you see so many people that you haven't seen for a long time. You catch up. Um, so, yeah. Um, okay, next question. Next question. When do you start getting excited for Christmas? <laughs> um, um, nowadays, that's a struggle. Um, yeah, I f actually find it hard to get excited for Christmas until after uh, a certain date. Um, yeah personal reasons is I can't I won't let myself get excited for Christmas just something that just not not happening um, I mean my boss was very surprised when he said to me um, you know what have you had what to how, what how's your Christmas tree decorated at the moment and I've turned around and said it's still in a box <laughs> and he's like it's after the first December you should have your tree up and then I've had to tell him why I don't put the Crete tea up until uh, the 14th. Done until after the 14th. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, I don't tend to get excited about Christmas until, well, 14th, 15th of December. Yeah. And let's go for a three. That's looking pretty cool. Um, where do you usually spend your holiday? It's so this is it's not a holiday. I'm not on holiday. Stop saying it's a holiday. Sorry, no. Um, well, this year, Perth. Last year, Perth. The year before that, did Sydney. Uh, that was the one the year we surprised Nathan's mum. Um, but usually, celebrate it where I live. Very rarely anywhere else. Okay. Who do a lot of work in your family on Christmas Day? Um, a lot of work on a family on Christmas Day. Um, I think the, believe it or not, my youngest son with us, because he, I don't know whether he loves cooking, he enjoys cooking. Uh, and I normally do, I, it's something that I started up ages ago, was Christmas breakfast. Um, you know, which worked well when he's when he's got a girlfriend you know he can have breakfast with us and do whatever he wants or needs to with his girlfriend's family um that's not happening now anyway um but i would say my younger son because yeah he will he will come in and actually he will take over the kitchen <laughs> um yeah yeah, so that's, I'd say my son, he's the one that does the most on Christmas Day. Um, but we all pretty well shoulder everything else that we do. We share what we uh, what everybody else does. Oh, pardon me. Yawning. Okay. You have been granted one Christmas wish. What would it be? So I know I can't have the obvious one. My Christmas, my one Christmas wish would be that every wish after that one comes true. You know, and I know that doesn't happen. You can't, you can't wish for that. I used to think that that was a valid wish, but apparently it's not. Hang on, let's get down to it there. Um, 
Grant one Christmas wish. <laughs> I think this year, I think there's one Christmas wish that I think most of the world would like. Um, and that although you can't undo something that has has been done um, you can't wish something didn't happen but you can wish that um, no further illness no further um, yeah no further illness no further deaths how do I put it? My wish would be that everybody recovers from COVID. If that makes sense. So all of those people that are sick with it, that currently sick with it, will recover. And then that anybody else that gets sick with it, they actually don't, it doesn't cause them any major problems as in it turns into being just another flu that's what i wish that covid would just turn into something that resembles just another flu not the horrible um sentence that it is for some people so yeah there we go and that was actually 30 questions. How did you guys go at your answers? I know me and the premieres probably got all your answers now. But, oh gosh, I've got my wax. I've lent on my wax. <laughs> it's squashed. Okay. So, I think I've got I'm actually not sure how much time I've got left. Bear with me. Half an hour, 20 minutes. Okay, I've probably got another 10 minutes here. So, questions I can ask you guys. Biggest one. You're watching this. If you're in the premiere, if you're actually watching the premiere, what time is it where you are? So there's one question. What time is it where you are? At the time of watching this premiere, as a premiere, not as a replay, but as the premiere, what time is it? Is it Christmas Day for you or is it still Christmas Eve? Um, because... It's quite interesting that we, are, as a diamond painting community, you know, some of us, our Christmas is probably already over, which will be the case, which will be my case. Um, I'll be at the end of end of Christmas Day for me. Um, oh, that's a four that way. I needed a three. So yeah. The next one is, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, do you have snow? Did it snow for your Christmas? That's obviously <laughs> Christmas, or Christ Christmas or Christmas Eve. Um, okay. I will actually, that's a, that's a bad drill, I don't want that one, um, okay, what else can I ask? I won't ask anything more. What I will do is though, is wish, I wish that everybody has a fantastic 2021 
I'll give that wish to you all. I just wish everybody had a, has a fantastic 2021. No matter what else is going on in your life at the moment, I know you can't say let's get 2020 over um, because you don't know what 2021 is going to dish up. There's still going to be a lot of what's going on now, still going on. So all I can do is I wish that 2021 is a better fit year for you, your family, your loved ones. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. Hopefully you are enjoying all these premieres. And um, this is going to be an interesting period. And I will say to Pippa, thank you Pippa. <laughs> The opportunity to be able to do a premiere and just share a little bit of difference and what we're going to see with these premieres is people all over different parts of the world um, bringing their Christmas to other parts of the world which is pretty amazing to see and uh, very 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 thoughtful of Pippa and uh, yeah Okay, so on that note, I am going to leave this here and say Merry, 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 Merry Christmas. And uh, I hope you have a uh, happy new year in uh, 2021. Bye.